I think the biggest thing is just feeling really, really lucky. Um, so some of my friends traveled from California, that's where we live right now. Um, and just thinking about the many miles folks have come to be here. It's also a little weird, right, having all these people from different moments and stages of my life all in the same place. some break and then talking about how one of her cousins was like you should try this newfangled app called tinder <laughs> <laughs> and it was like the first match was the right one like oh, wow, wow. y'all really did that they should be yes. paying you for that they should be. They really it should be in a commercial. Right. Like, if anybody has connections, like, <laughs> get us on TV, please. I'll add them to the vendor list to be tagged in all the videos and things like that. No, but truly you know, how the stars right. aligned so that you were both at home in Ohio. Yes. Yes. It was amazing. And your radius is just Just at 50 enough. miles. Yes. <laughs> like, it was because you could only go as far as 50 miles back, back then. Back then. Oh, really? When it first came out, you could only go as far as 50 no miles. super tender yet or whatever. No, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm so glad I'm out the game. Yeah. No. But yeah. That's a great question. Not, nervous about getting married? Absolutely not. Um, oh. Nervous about getting everything planned out down to the minute? Maybe a little bit. You know, I've, I've never been more certain of anything in my life than that I want to marry this woman. I thought he was asking oh. you were nervous when y'all met. <laughs> <laughs> and we know that's the truth. We do. Today has been really amazing. Uh, having so much of our family here, uh, so many friends here, um, being at the brunch the morning before, just getting ready to like actually start things. Now, less than 24 hours out from the wedding has been really incredible. Um, I, I didn't think my sisters were going to be able to make it today. I know they were running around a lot. They're down in Akron. Uh, so getting that call at the table that they'd be able to show up even just for a little bit was really special. I'm really excited to get married. Uh, I find the process of telling people how much I love somebody really uncomfortable. Jess, I, I don't know where to begin with talking about how strong my feelings are for you. Um, somewhere along the way, just everything in my life became so inextricably tied to you and to our relationship. Um, it's, it's the cornerstone. Nothing else would make sense without that connection. Um, everything is so different and so much better because of you. And I, I can't wait to call you my wife. I think it's amazing that she found such a good guy and I like him, he's a good time, he's fun and he's so nice to her and he always talks great about her which is the only thing I ever wish for for my sisters. So um, yeah, I'm super excited for their wedding and been looking forward to this for a long time. So. Both Jessica and Terry, I love both of you and be, um, you know what, uh, this is just the wedding, but get ready for the marriage part. So with the ups and the downs, be there for each other, love each other, and you'll see both of your ways through. Not necessarily, it was just the fact that she was going to meet anyone, and it was meeting a man, you know, in Cleveland, and we're in little Canton, Ohio, so um, it was um, it was nerve wracking for me because I needed her to like, you know, make sure she texts me while you know when she's there and if she's leaving to make sure you know. And she made it obviously she made it back safely, um, uh, but I did ask him not to murder me. To be fair, <laughs> both that and I threatened him with the fact that. 
my family would kill him. <laughs> so, excellent. I also immediately on the first date. Yeah. So I don't know if that helps, but yeah. continue. Yeah. yeah, well, that's probably yeah. why you got home safely then. Home <laughs> safely <laughs> because he's amazing. <laughs> all right. That's what we're doing. That's, that's what we're doing for sure. That's the bank's tradition. You passed it on to your son. I will. Or your daughter. No ship runs a smooth course. If you're moving in the same direction, you'll make it to shore. Yes, sir. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. But you up. Thank you. You see button the bottom button, right? Right. Button get this right. You got it. Your hug. Thanks, Dad. Uh, it's been a lot. Really glad to have you yes, here. Sir. Yes, sir. Today's the day. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been waiting to see this dress for probably five or six months now. Uh, she's been telling me exactly how she, how good she's gonna look. I know that's the truth. Um, it's so close. It's so soon. Um, it was super weird saying goodbye this morning, knowing like the next time I see her, it's gonna be in the dress. It's gonna be the first look. I, uh, now I'm rambling a little bit. But I'm thrilled and I'm a little nervous. <laughs>
but where words fail there are actions. For that reason, my first vow to you is that I will spend the rest of my days showing you what love means to me. My second vow to you is that I will be there to support and sustain you in that work, no matter what it, where it takes us or what you need from me. You might have noticed I didn't include beautiful in my list, and that's because your beauty gets its own section. Okay. <laughs> now, I never was much for poetry, and I'm not going to start now. Um, and everybody here certainly knows that I'm no singer, can't carry a tune in the bucket. Uh, and since I'm no poet, and certainly no singer, the only tool in my toolbox is prose, and that can never be sufficient to describe you. Instead, all I can say is, y'all, please look at my wife. Look at her. <laughs> My third vow to you is that every day of our lives, I'm going to gas you up at least this much. <laughs> my fourth vow to you is to never stop growing and improving myself. You deserve the absolute best of everything, and I'm going to do my damnedest to be that. By your example, I have become more patient, more, communic more communicative, more understanding, and more empathetic. I get compliments on my patience now. Some of you who knew me as a teenager know how incredible that is. I believe we can all always be better, and you drive me to be the best version of myself. My final vow to you is to never stop making these memories, to never stop taking advantage of our extraordinary love. I love you so much, Mrs. Banks. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we're not supposed to do the thing. You're so fine. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> this is our Do you mind taking this? Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna get a little close so folks can hear me. Um, Terrence Anthony Banks Jr. <laughs> Loving you is one of the greatest privileges of my life. My love for you has no container. It's so profoundly a part of who I am and who I want to be, it's nearly impossible to entangle it in a coherent way. But I'll do the best I can with what I have. And what I have is you. From the moment I met you, you've proven that love is a dedicated, persistent act. And that an artfully placed smiling emoji can take a conversation from being left on red to nearly <laughs> a decade's worth of real smiles, laughter, and joy. I'm so grateful to 2014 Terrence for seeing the vision that we're currently standing in. It seems so delicate that slight differences in choices, timeline, and even weather could have created a world where we didn't ever cross paths. It's overwhelming to stand here in the power of this moment and imagine our lives in any other way. And I want to revel in that power, in our power, I want to take just a moment to feel the gravity that both pulled us together and keeps us grounded. We've seen so many different seasons of each other's lives. We've helped each other grow, heal, learn, unlearn, and continuously live into better versions of ourselves. We've indulged and even encouraged each other's niche, intense rants. <laughs> Yours about semi versus superconductors. <laughs> Mine about burning down versus building up the systems that surround us. You're brilliant, thoughtful, and measured, and I learn from you every single day. Earlier this year, as you paused a video, stood up and began pointing at the TV <laughs> to highlight and further explain what was going on when the earth was purple. <laughs> this is before plants evolved. So imagine no green, no plants. The earth was purple. Anyway, <laughs> um, as you stood up pointing at the TV, I saw a beautiful window into our future where our small, very nerdy children <laughs> would be asking questions about evolution, animals, music, power, and people. People who they will know are also animals. <laughs> um, they're gonna be so lucky 
to have you as their dad. And I'm gonna be so lucky to have you as my husband. You're supportive of my dreams. You're earnest and honest to those around you, even when it's difficult. You're dedicated and hardworking, even hardworking in your efforts to stop working so hard. <laughs> You're diligent and patient, making sure that I'm taking care of myself before trying to take care of the world. You're my home. Anywhere you are, I'm safe. And with you. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> and with you, I know I can overcome anything that comes our way. You're truly a partner, a teammate, a wayfinder in this world that wishes us lost. By loving each other, we risk pain and grief. We guarantee moments of deep vulnerability and discomfort. And yet, I'd make no other choice but to love you. Never. Ever. Never. Um, you're my everything, and I'll do everything in my power to mirror, amplify, and reciprocate all that you are to me. I'll treat you with kindness, respect, tenderness, and care. I'll seek to deeply understand your wishes, your needs, your fears, and your dreams. I will encourage your goals and sift through your concerns and your doubts. I'll protect you. I'll support your agency and independence. I'll be a safe place for who you are now and who you will become in the future. I will love you. I will choose to love you. And I will show my love in action every day. In our love, I feel the potential for what the world could become. With you by my side, freedom seems possible. You're perfect for me. My love for you has no container. But Terrence Anthony Banks Jr., with you by my side, the best I can do with what I have couldn't be contained no matter how hard we tried. I love you is not nearly big enough, but it will have to do for now. And luckily we have forever to figure it out. I love you forever and for now. I love you so much. Awesome. Not yet, y'all. Wait, like, hold on. <laughs> Just a little bit longer. That was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Having said that, to you, beloved family and friends, promise to continue to support them, to pray for them, and to always act in the spirit of love, compassion, and integrity. If so, please say, we do. <laughs> The wedding ring is a symbol of eternity. It is an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. And now, as a token of your eternal commitment, we will exchange rings. May we have the rings, please. I thought I forgot him, didn't <laughs> No, he <wouldn't>. never. <laughs> she takes mine. Jessica, please place the ring on Terrence's finger with the words, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Terrence, please place the ring on Jessica's finger with the words, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Jessica and Terrence, you've expressed your love today to one another through the commitment and promises that you have just made. It is with these in mind that it is my absolute honor to pronounce your husband and wife. You ready? So ready. Yeah. You may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Oh, 
have to because we have to jump. So yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, we have like a chair. We got it. Okay. Sorry. You ready? today make me believe in how liberatory it is to be in love and make me believe that something as simple as love can be just so powerful, so overwhelming. To see Jess and Terry be in love makes me excited to be in love. Makes You know you are my heart, you are a compass for all of us who know you and love you. And Terry, you have been there since I met you. I was like, oh, this is a good one! And now that you all are officially married, I'm just wishing you the greatest, most beautiful and joyful life, relationship, family. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the new bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Terrence and Jessica Bain. It's just the day that made the morning and the highlight. So many different things to do with and the highlight. Just good food and drinks, but what makes you think that this life's made for a king? So many different things to do with and the highlight. We're so glad to be back. We love y'all. Y'all are great. Aren't they great? Come on, y'all. And I seen when y'all were, were giving your vows and reading each other, the way he was looking at you, you got it, dog. You won. I did. I, no, I know. I seen it. And I was like, oh, he, yeah, he know he won. I formally want to welcome Jessica into the family, though she has been part of the family for some time. Jessica, you are an exceptional person who clearly brings happiness to our son. You've been with him long enough to understand what it means to be a part of our family, and we are genuinely pleased to have you as our third daughter. And my wife is especially happy she didn't have to endure pregnancy or labor to get you. Finally, here are Terry Sr., my top 10 tenets of marriage in descending order. Number 10. Love is not gazing into each other's eyes, as there will be plenty of time for that. But it is looking outward together in the same direction. Your love should always be forward-looking with shared and individual dreams and aspirations. Nine, growing marriages require growing people. Embrace personal growth, for it will only strengthen your marriage. So not only are the admirable brilliant, not only are they brilliant, it's absolutely incredible, but they are also the band that Terry took me to on our first date. <laughs> and so you, you see why I fell in love, right? <laughs> you see the plot, you see the vision, right? Um, it is incredible, so thank you so much to y'all. We really appreciate yes. you making this full circle moment for us almost nine years later. Yeah. We really... Yeah. Amazing. That's all for now. Yeah. <laughs>